Boys, you see what's going on right now? Look at that. I'm 50 years old, and this is what's going on right now. I don't have to do nothing. And every month, out of nowhere, I got money that appeared in my bank account. Like a magic trick. I don't have to do nothing. But to get there, it's a rough road. It's a rough road. In life, it's all about choice. You choose the easy road or you choose the rough road. I choose the rough road. And it is the result at 50 years old. I'm going to tell you how to get there. It's up to you. It's all about choice. Financial freedom. Financial freedom, that's the goal of everybody. Having money and you don't have to do nothing and the money appears in your bank account. That's having an asset. When you have an asset, you don't do nothing and you make money with your money. That's having an asset. But to get there, for me, it takes me 30 years. 30 freaking years I'm making difficult choice. I'm making stuff that is, are not fun to do, not let my emotion control my life, do those things that are not fun, knowing that those things I'm doing right now that are not fun at all, that's going to benefit me in the future. So guys... You need to start when you're super young. You need to start for you when you're super young. At 16 years old, you're supposed to know what you want to do in life. At 16 years old, you're supposed to have a plan where you're going to be at 26 years old. At 26 years old, you, be, you put another goal where you want to be at 36 years old. A 10-year plan. I made a bunch of video about that. But the whole idea, guys, to get there is not easy. If you start from scratch, if you start from scratch, you need to have an education when you're going to get a good job, when you make good money. If you're a freaking moron, oh, I'm going to get a doctoral on philosophy, a useless degree in philosophy when you're not going to make any freaking money. Again, you are a moron. You need to study the whole thing Choose a career where there's money to be made. And this is step number one. Step number one. And after that, what you do? You work hard to get that degree. It's not fun. It's difficult. You don't party and, party and spend your money on women. Women, boys, this is the worst freaking investment ever. Women are the worst freaking investment. Put that in your head. So when you work hard and you have your finding your degree, you need to find a good job. Now you need to uh, to uh, have make the sacrifice. You left your family behind. You left your friend behind. Hopefully you don't have a girlfriend and kid. If you have a girlfriend and kid, you screw. It's over for you. It's over for you. At 20, between 20 and 25 years old, you have a girlfriend and kid. It's over for you. You're going to be poor for the rest of your life. End of story. But if you're smart, you don't have a girlfriend and kid. Now, you let your friend and family behind and you find a job where you make good money. And from there, you build yourself up. Your paycheck that you have, again, you need to save it. You need to save it. And when you save it, what does that mean? You live with your bare minimum need. Your bare minimum, minimum that you need, and that money you put in your in your bank account, and over time you're gonna end up with I don't know ten thousand, twenty thousand. Now you need to have a plan. What are you gonna do with that money that you save? And you know, guys, that money that you save is gonna become an habit. It's gonna become an habit that you live just with, just with the bare minimum that you live that you need. You don't buy a big freaking car and you go in debt. Debt, that's another thing that freaking 
kill you guys. Don't go in freaking debt. Buy a used Toyota Corolla Honda Civic. Cheap, reliable car. Don't let people, don't try to impress every, anybody. Oh, I'm going to buy a big car, the girl's going to like it. I'm going to live paycheck to paycheck. The girl's going to like it. I'm going to impress them. What's going to happen when they're going to, when they're going to find out the truth? They're going to dump your ass and you punish yourself because you don't build yourself up. You put your freaking mind again on woman. Woman, that's the worst freaking investment ever, guys. Ever. The worst investment. So I go back what I was saying. You have 20, 30, 40,000. Now you need to have a plan. What are you going to do with that money that you save? What are you going to do? From there, in my opinion, you have three choices. You invest in real estate, which I don't know anything about, but I heard very, very good thing. Now if you invest in real, in real estate, the market that you are in right now, the town where you're living, is it a good investment, yes or no? Is it a good investment? Yes or no? If you live in a freaking shithole where the crime is right to the roof, well, it's probably not a good, good investment to invest in this town. So you have this. You could be an entrepreneur, which I'm not. I'm not going to give you any advice about entrepreneurship. If you're an entrepreneur and you start a job by keeping the job that you have right now because you cannot afford to live that job. If you start a business, which is fine, you leave your job only when you made the same amount of money with your business that you made with your job. That's when you leave your job. You, you need to build that freaking thing. Because that doesn't mean because you're an entrepreneur, you're going to be successful right away. If you're an entrepreneur and you keep your job and you invest your money in your company, and it doesn't work well. Again, you take responsibility. It's your, it's your fault. It's risky. That depends which state of mind that you have. I don't know the state of mind that you have. And the third choice, that's the road that I choose, the safe choice. You invest the money. You invest your money to make money with your money. Me, I choose the market. You invest your money in good stock that pay dividends. And the reason I invest in the market, you know why it is? Because back in my day, for the last 20 years, not now, I understand it, not now, but the last 20 years, the interest rate was so freaking low that if you put your money in a GIC, you lose money. You lose money. So you don't do that. You invest that in the market. Now, all those things that I tell you guys, you, they don't teach that at school. So you know what that means? That means you need to put time. You need to put time in it to learn about the market, to learn about the rule of real estate, to learn about if you start a company. There's a bunch of rules that you need to learn that they don't teach you at school. You need to put time in it. And you also need to perform in your job. It's not an easy road, guy. It's hard. It's tough. But you need to do it. And the more you do it, the more it becomes an habit. It's an habit. It's a state of mind. Okay, today after my job, I'm going to put an hour, an hour and a half. I'm going to study about the real estate. Okay, I'm going to take a look about that market thing. What does that mean? And you have a bunch of rules about taxes. Freaking taxes. You have rules about the market. You have rules about real estate. You... If you have your company, you have rule about taxes. There's a bunch of stuff that you need to learn by yourself. It's hard. It's difficult. It's time-consuming. Again, I came back with that woman thing. If you have a freaking girlfriend who sucks 50% of your free time, that means you wasting. It's a waste, guys. Woman, it's a freaking waste of time. You're wasting 50% of your time with her instead of investing your energy, which, which I just told you. Make money. Take a look about your future. And you know what, guys? Again, if you have wife and kid, I assume you have a kid, it's over for you guys. 
it's freaking over. That thing's going to drown you in debt, and it's over. You're going to live paycheck to, paycheck to paycheck. But let's go back to what I was saying. You put a bunch of gold, a big gold, you divide that on little gold. And when you reach your little goal, guys, it feels good. That's what motivates you to keep going. When you reach the little goals, this is what motivates you to keep going. Me, I remember, you know how long it take me to make my first million? It take me 20 years. 20 years to make my first million. And I have to, I didn't go to his road. I didn't see my family for 10 years. Just working my ass off. Learning to invest. I made mistakes with my investment. With that mistake, I learned it. I keep going forward. Guys, it's not easy. Or you choose the easy road. If you choose the easy road, wife, kid, I live paycheck to paycheck. It's your choice. It's your choice what you want to do. It's your freaking choice. Another thing about women I want you to understand, guys, is so freaking important. All delusional women are. Women wants to live what feels good in the moment, in the present, right now. So look, you're with the girls. And the girls just start freaking whining. You're never with me. You spend your time to make money and blah, blah, blah. And now you are blue pill guy. You know the red pill guy. You want to please her. So you give up your dream. You give up to working hard just to please her. The result is you make less money. Now you have five years, ten years pass, and you want to please her even more. So you give up your dream totally. You give up to work hard just to please her. And you know what's going to happen later on? You know what she's going to start to whine about? We don't have money. We don't have any money anymore. It's your fault. You see how fucked up those women are? They want to live what feels good right now. And you know what she's going to do? She's going to blame you. It's your fault. You don't make any money. And you're going to tell her, look, I give up all my dreams to make you happy right now. But guys, if you follow the lead of a freaking woman, you end up turning in circle and wasting your freaking life. You're going to waste your life. And 10 years from now, because you don't have any money, you know what that woman is going to do? She's going to dump your freaking ass. You're going to end up with alimony, child support, and she's going to fuck up your entire life. This is what I said all the time. In a relationship, the man lead. The man run the show. You told her, look, I put my energy to make money. You're with me. I run the show or you're out. I run the fucking show here. You shut the fuck up. I run the show. You're here and you're with me or you're out. And don't have baby. Don't have freaking baby. And have that state of mind that you don't need that woman. If that woman don't want to help you, She's out the door. End of story. Guys, focus on your dream and goal. Woman or dream killer. I'm telling you guys. Woman or freaking dream killer. Focus on you. You. That's it. Okay, I've been yapping for, I don't know, it's been more than 13 minutes now. I don't want to put that thing too long. If I start, I could, I could keep yapping for an hour and a half i got a lot of shit to say, but I'm going to stop that right now. Boys, financial freedom. It's not an easy road. It's hard. It takes 20, 30, 40 years. Don't get a woman. Screw up your dream. It's hard. It's tough. Now, as a man, you have to go to the hard world. That's how it is. This is the rule of life. Never freaking forget that. Okay, if you're old guys like me, Send that video to one of the young guys to wake him up. The freaking pussy guys who has been raised by single mother. Send them that freaking video. Wake him up. Financial freedom, guys. This is the way to go. 
When you have money, you have the power to make your own choice. You reach a certain age and you could look at your boss and said, I'm out of here. I'm out. I don't give a F about you. I'm out of here. And since this is the best feeling in the world, guys. Financial freedom. Every freaking man should work on this. Okay, guys, you like that video? Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.